When you look at John Mongai spinning his potter's wheel, it may seem an easy task. But for this self-taught potter, the journey to crafting fine ceramic pieces has been nothing but easy. I was employed at a ceramic company as a bookkeeper. I didn't do the production or anything. Then I stayed there for one and a half years. I left. But just before I left, I bought some of the equipment I'm using now, like the kiln and a potter's wheel, which I had, which became faulty. Then I had to make my own again. Then from there, I didn't know how to do it. So I tried, the people we were working with, I tried working with them, but everyone was busy on his own things. So eventually I decided uh, I have to teach myself how to do this. Where does he source his raw materials from? The clay we get from Mukurini Nyeri. Then uh, we, are, we buy some other components locally, like the silica, the feldspar, the dolomite, and the kaolin. That one we can get from the river. But the stains that we use to, for coloring, the final product, when you want to get the blue or the white, those ones, because they're not locally available, we go and get them from South Africa. For John, the bulk of his clientele is from the expatriate community. I sell at Westlands. I have also done some few orders for hotels. And uh, I also sell at the village market every, Tuesday, every last week of the month and the first week of the month at the village market. And in between the month, I also exhibit at the village market every Wednesday. Though he has a passion for what he does, he has faced setbacks, but this has not deterred him. One of the things that really puts the ceramic industry down is that in Kenya it's not a, a very big, mm, let's say, it's not a big vocation. Not many people are in it. So, like, if you want to buy a kiln, you have to source from either South Africa or you go to America or get it from UK because they are not locally available. Another part is that this, the stains, we also don't have them locally. So we make do with what we have. Also, John has taken upon himself to impart skills to other people interested in the art. I'm trying to train people because also in Kenya, we only have one university offered in the pottery, Kenyatta University. And it's not a well-known course. So very few people are doing pottery. If you want someone to throw, like the potters, there are very few in Kenya. So the few who are there, they are being grabbed by the people who can pay the most. Yeah. So I'm trying to train people even for free, the youngsters, so that at least I bring some more people into the industry. His words of advice to other entrepreneurs? Look for something you really love to do. Then work hard at it. Be persistent. Then be consistent. That's the way forward.